Welcome to this so Windows and Computer channel and this is uh, kind of a general video for Wi-Fi range. I get a lot of requests, people saying that their Wi-Fi's range is uh, crappy, but more specifically, a lot of people asking me, does moving on to 5 gigahertz rather than 2.4 actually make a difference? So there are several things that can interfere with your Wi-Fi and this is important and this has to do with every device you have or not this video isn't really just Windows it's actually uh, every device you might be using a tablet on Android or an iPad, an iPhone, an Android phone or any uh, Wi-Fi enabled you know device and smart speaker and smart TV um, one of the biggest problems which always plagued Wi-Fi is range. Once you are getting far away from your router, one of the things that happens is the signal gets weaker. And if you live in a urban area with people all around you, other users, other homes, and especially apartment buildings with a lot of Wi-Fi everywhere, there's interference from other Wi-Fi signals. And you know, that's something we don't think about. You're not alone on your Wi-Fi. There's a lot of people using the same channels and frequencies with their own routers so yes there is a difference between 5 and 2.4 gigahertz but what you could do is switch between one and the other usually what happens when you are on a Wi-Fi your router if it has the possibility of having 5 gigahertz and if your um, device has a capability of 5 gigahertz also you will see two entries for your own device an example I'll give is here on my device if I go on the uh, Wi-Fi I will have uh, for example my Wi-Fi is this one here creation tube 5G this is the 5 gigahertz but there's one here without the 5G in it and that is the 2.4 gigahertz both of them are visible. Notice in your Wi-Fi, and you can do this with every device, look at the list of Wi-Fi, if you see both entries of your router on 5 or 2.4 gigahertz, uh, go to the affected area, the place where you see that they're having difficulty, and look at how strong the signal is on one compared to the other. 5 gigahertz is sometimes better than 2.4 in certain circumstances. It is also better often because it is less crowded. Uh, not a lot of uh, routers still use it. But in some cases, 2.4 will be better. I've noticed, for example, for extended range, I often have a better signal on 2.4. But for overall use around my home, 5 gigahertz is better and that of course has a lot to do with what's happening uh, on your different um, you know devices and everybody around you so the best is to try and see if the 5 and the regular 2.4 which one is stronger when you look at it it is more complex than that because i've already talked about wi-fi channels because your router can change channel if you want uh, and and positioning your router it's, it's a very very delicate situation which is always a little complex in a lot of cases because of the way that things are actually installed and where the router's positioning is and so on so switch or look at both connections 5 and 2.4 and compare the signal strength you might just notice that one is better than the other simply in a uh, you know general environment and overall 2.4 is usually a lot more crowded than 5. If you use um, a router and your devices um, in a good distance it might be very very uh, important to check that out. If you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching.